Hey guys, so I wanted to make a quick video about our circle graphs or pie charts. Um, you will not be required to draw these by hand on the test, but you will need to have a basic understanding of how you would draw it um, to answer some questions. So we'll see an example here in the notes and then again at the end of the notes with one from your homework. So these are not easy to draw by hand because you actually have to calculate the degree of the pie. And then from there, you have to use a protractor to get that angle degree accurate. So what that means is you will find that this 20% is some degree, and then you have to draw that angle inside of a circle you've already drawn. So with that being said, what is the degree for an angle of the 20% piece? So I'm looking here at specifically this graph at this 20% piece. And if I was gonna draw this, the question says, what is the angle of that? And so there's 360 degrees in a circle. And so if I'm looking for 20%, I'm really asking the question, what is 20% of 360? And so I'm gonna set up a proportion, x over 360 equals 20, over 100, cross multiply, and that is gonna give me out, we'll actually just skip to the end, that is gonna give you out a final answer of x equals 72 degrees, if you were to cross multiply and divide there. And so then you would have to get a protractor out, you'd have to mark a 72 degree angle, draw that inside your circle to get out the 20% piece. And then you'd have to do that again for 5, for 4, for 33, for 26, and for 12. So these are not real difficult, which is why I'm not going to make you draw them on the test or on the homework. You'll just have to know how to read them, how to interpret them. So some, um, what are you answering the following questions? What are the key elements? The same things as before. The key elements for these are going to be, you need a title, you need a legend or a key, and then you need labels on the pieces. And so make sure you always put those on any of your graphs, but specifically in this example, the pie chart. So let's look at this example. This is how you need to be able to interpret a circle graph or a pie chart. A class of eighth graders undertook an ambitious project to compile the most dominant colors of uniforms for all 241 middle school sports teams in their state this year. The circle graph below shows the results. Approximately how many teams are represented in each sector. And so the first thing, I know that um, your notes may not be in color, but we've got several different categories. We've got black, which represents... 24%. We've got green, which represents 5%. We've got red, which is going to represent our 12%. Blue at 22%. Gray. and then white. So now um, the question says approximately how many teams are represented in each sector. That's gonna be a, the same problem but with different numbers for every single one of them. So we're not gonna do them all, I'm just gonna do the first three to get you on the right path. And so for black, it's 24% of the total. So that total is going to be my 241 teams. And so I'm going to set up a proportion. So I'll have that black is going to be x over 241 because I don't know the number of teams but I do know the total equals percent 24 over 100 
would cross multiply and solve that thing for x. Green is going to be my x over 241 because I want to know how many teams equals 5 over 100. Cross multiply and solve that. Same thing with red. I would get x over 241 equals 12 over 100. Cross multiply and solve. Blue, x over 241 equals 22 over 100. And you would continue that out with gray and white. And then whatever you got for x would be your total answer. So let's just do black so that you kind of get an idea of at least one example. So going back here, I would cross multiply and get 100x equals 24 times 241. 5,784 divide by 100 and get x equals 57.84. Well, I can't have 0.84 of a team, so I'm going to go ahead and round that thing up to 58 teams or schools, I guess. And then you would continue to go through and do that um, of all of the schools. Once you found all of these x's, they should add together to about 241. They may not be exact because of some rounding error, but they should be pretty close. So that'll be a good check before you plug it in.